Welcome everyone to another episode of Nursery Rhymes. I'm Dr. Pants. I'm Lambo. And Sony did something. Mm -hmm. They are changing the way PlayStation Plus works and uh, expanding it to have different tiers. Now we expected this. There was news broke a few months ago, kind of talking about how they would be adding PS1, PS2, PS3 classics on your PS5. The first few tiers add PS4 and PS5 games. Mm -hmm. It's not until you hit the most expensive tier, $120 for the year. They know what they want to do. They know what they're getting us. And, and in all honesty, this seems the opposite to Nintendo for me, yeah. where like Nintendo at its lowest rankings, you get the earliest systems yeah. and then more expensive newer systems. But nonetheless, Whatever. Whatever. nonetheless, mm -hmm. you're getting access to them, which is kind of what I want, but kind of not. Mm -hmm. But we're not here to talk about that. Yeah. Because Sony has said that there are about, what, 400 games? 300-ish, yeah, 350 games, somewhere in the... In the right. Yeah. PS2 by itself has a gigantic library of games. And we have done something similar to this before, but we are going to talk about the games that we want to see show up on that service. It's going to make it worthwhile to us, but here's the deal. We're going to gamify it. We're going to gamify it. We're going to play War, where just like in the game War, we're going to throw two cards out against each other, and whichever one beats the other wins. But we have to state our case as to why that game that we chose beats the other. Mm -hmm. And we have to remain objective, as objective as possible. Right. Uh, so the idea is, uh, you know... There's there's going to be some emotions, Lambo. Yeah. I'm going to let you know that some emotions are going to run high on yeah. this. And so the idea is we're going game against game. We're not picking the best ones because the best one might even lose. You know right, 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 right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, well, you can make your own picks and tell us why we're wrong in the comments as we go. But, uh... uh okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. You ready? Hey, you ready? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Bray Fencer Musashi versus Mega Man Legends. That's actually a pretty good. That's actually a pretty good matchup. I think that is a good matchup. A good matchup. All right. So tell me why you picked Bray Fencer <laughs> Musashi because it was almost one of mine. <laughs> almost. Um, I actually started playing it recently, and it's good. Yeah. It's really good. Um, I, I think I picked it because I, I, I haven't seen it being re-released anywhere, like, ever. No. Um, and um, it, it has this kind of awesome pedigree behind it, Squaresoft. Um, you know, it, has, it was legendary for having the Final Fantasy VIII thing on it. But if, obviously the, the re-release wouldn't have that. Um, um, I'm, I'm kind of... You, you tell me why Mega Man Legends is a thing. <laughs> okay, we have played Mega Man Legends on the channel. You yeah. have experienced it I now. Have. Um, Mega Man Legends is one of the only mm -hmm. Mega Man games. I want to say there are probably like three that have not seen a re-release in any real shape or form. Except for Mega Man 64. <laughs> But that was almost a simultaneous release. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. Legend it was like 64. A year later. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> it never got re released. And we're in an age where you can get every other Mega Man game. Yeah. All the Me Mega Mans, all the X's, all the Zeros, all the ZX's. They're all there. This is not. Now, there are technically three in this series, but this one, the first one, it's a great standalone adventure title. It's still Mega Man, but it's got a cool, different kind of exploration gimmick to it. I'll give it to you. All right. Cool. Take it. You gotta keep going. Take it. Gonna I'm gonna throw going. out a good one next. So am I. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Dino Crisis. Parasite. Oh, they go. They go good again. They go. Again. They do. Oh man. They do. It's okay. almost. It's almost like we planned it, but I swear. I swear <laughs> no, 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 no. We're we're really doing this at random. We didn't even talk about it. All right. Well, you can go first. Okay. Parasite Eve, another Squaresoft game before it was Square Enix. Mm -hmm. um, it's an RPG, but it's also a horror game. But it has this really cool battle system that's very f similar to Vagrant Story, another like really well loved RPG from Square Enix. But you have an awesome female lead. Again, it kind of feels like Resident Evil, but RPG ish. There's cool like crafting mechanics. Yeah. There's a level. It's got all the Final Fantasy ness to it at the time too. All the right. awesome cutscenes. Right. And yeah. it's never been re-released, but it did get a sequel on the PSP. Yeah. <laughs> and another sequel on the PS2, yeah, yeah, yeah. but or PS1, yeah. but I, I don't know. I don't know. Mine has dinosaurs in it. <laughs> <laughs> Mine has dinosaurs in it. Okay. Mine has dinosaurs in it. Can I make one argument against yours? Yeah. Capcom is putting out. A new dinosaur game. Uh huh. That may it may be, but it's not because there's yet. a character who looks an awful lot know. like Regina in it. We don't know. If you want to take it, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'm taking it. Because here's the thing: I'm I love Dino I, Crisis I'm, more than I'm, Parasite I'm, Eve. I'm gonna take it when I can. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right I'm gonna go. I'm gonna a weird one now. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. 
All right, Police Knots versus Mega Man Legends. So here's two. my thought with Police Knots. So on the Nintendo Switch Online, they've been releasing a lot of games that have never come to the West. Right. And I think the online uh, kind of thing of doing it, and this even happened a lot on the uh, on the PSN. We would get these like awesome Japanese versions of things. We even got Japanese Mega Man games. We did. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You're right, and and it would be really, really awesome for this one to kind of come out. Like if they put Star Fox Two out on the on this, you know, the Nintendo Switch Online. They could put Police Knots out on this, especially with all the love for uh, um, Hideo Kojima and stuff on these days. Is there an official English translation? There is not yet. So not an official one. Okay, it would it would create a problem. I admit right, admittedly. Mega Man Legends Two. Mm -hmm. Again, one of the other three. If you're gonna do Legends One, I think you got to put two out there. They're almost a package deal. And plus, if both of them are out there, that might spur interest to get us three. But um, this one, more varied environments, whereas the first one was a single island. There were different places to go here with all kinds of different uh, different environments. There was even an entirely underwater dungeon, uh, all kinds of cool new mechanics and whatnot. And even like this is incredibly hard uh, general knowledge trivia quiz. Oh, okay. I'm still going to say that Mega Man Legends 2 beats out Police Hunts only because... You're right. No, no. I, I will say that one of the reasons I think this would be good is because the visual novel game has like blown in popularity lately. I lately. really want to play this. And actually, I would prefer to see a, re like a remake of it. I would too. But I'll give it to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> One, two, three. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Mega Man X4 versus Sukunin 2. Okay. I'll state my case. Go for it. Sukunin 2 is at the top of most people's most beloved JRPG list, but Sukunin 2 was notoriously hard to get a hold of on for the PS4. Many years. Yes. And it has been within the past, I want to say, five years? Maybe, maybe more. I, I lose track of time. That we finally were able to play it because it got released on the Vita as a PS1 classic. Right. It is an outstanding game. Anybody who loves that like golden age of Super Nintendo to PS1 JRPGs, this is an outstanding game to play. It's beautiful, great music, an amazing story. I think this is, this is something everyone needs to play, and there mm -hmm. needs to be more access to it. Mega Man X4 is... Probably the best Mega Man X game outside of the first one for me personally. The best. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, just the ability to play a zero all the way through the game for the very, very first time ever. Mm -hmm. Okay, ridiculous. Um, the opportunity in the game to, uh, um, you know, save your game. That was oh, cool yes. for the first time ever. No, um, and just like the animations in the game, um, the callbacks to earlier games, um, the awesome final boss that, that was super annoying. The last time we played through it. Yeah, yeah. We. What do you think? We, we put a card up there. Come on, what do you think? This has been re-released. In fact, I can play this on every modern system. I I feel bad. I feel bad because I love X4. I love it more than Sukunin 2, but I want to see Sukunin 2 on that service because more people need to play it. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what my last one is, <laughs> uh -huh. we're not friends. <sighs> Boom. Oh, this might be the battle of our favorite PS1 games against each other. <laughs> There's a big argument against yours, though. Well, I know that it's... I, yeah. Uh, I, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So it's Resident well, okay, Evil yeah, 2 versus Seven Gears. Yeah, well, well, okay, okay, well, Resident Evil 2 in its original form, and its right. PS1 classic form, it only exists in the same place Xenogears exists, because you can get them both equally right now. Yes. Didn't they release it on the Nintendo 64? Uh, they did, but, like... Didn't it also... But in, term, in terms of availability right this second, they're about equal. Okay. Yeah. Did it also get released on the GameCube? Um, Did it also yeah. get released on the Dreamcast? Yeah. I I'm get sorry. you. I get it. I'm I sorry. Get it. I'm sorry. But we would want to see it on the. It's it's an iconic PlayStation game. It too. is an iconic PlayStation game. <laughs> um, I just wonder how many people. Well, many people would want to play the original after playing the remake. They would. Or, it's good. or 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 ha but has it aged well? It, ha it it's a. I, I I played it immediately after I beat the 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 PS4 one, and it was really really good. Okay. Yeah, so. I'll state my case with Xenogears really quick. Okay. Um, the thing that I think has mo the most going for this right now is the huge explosion in Xenoblade popularity because of the Switch. Mm -hmm. You've got this fantastic series that is doing very well on the Nintendo Switch. And for anybody who also has a PlayStation, this is where it started. And for anybody who loves Final Fantasy, this was a Final Fantasy game. It was meant to be a Final Fantasy game. It was written to be one. And it's the Final Fantasy game that never was. 
also robots. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the one thing I'm gonna say about this one. No one cares about it anymore. <laughs> the second disc of the game is just text. Uh, the second half of the second, second half. Yeah, it's yeah. not just text. There it's are battles. A, it's mostly text. There's a there's multiple dungeons. It's mostly text. You never played it. <laughs> you don't know. Don't you dare claim to know her. She is beauty. She is grace, and, and she's beauty. gonna and she's gonna lose this race. All right. The PS One is done, and you have you're beating me still. I you're, am. You're beating me pretty well. Um, I think this is where you're gonna come out on top. You think? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know if I... Well, I, I picked some... I don't know. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Ones. I am very passionate about the PS2, yeah. but in ways that most people aren't. There ain't no Sly Coopers or Ratchet <laughs> and Clanks on this list, or a Jack and Daxter. So... Mm, uh, I forgot about Jack 3. Jack 3 should have gone on my list, but... Oh, well. All right, so PS2 games. You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm going to throw a really weird one that you didn't expect. Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? To start, yeah. One, two, three. Ooh. Yeah. SSX no. Tricky oh, yeah. <laughs> versus Onimusha 2. All right. Well, SSX Ooh. Tricky was, I, th I at the time, they like, and we really haven't perfected the snowboard game since. I would argue that 3 is better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, here's the deal. Yeah. I'll let you just say put pretty much any SSX game on the PS2 because they're yeah, all yeah. good. They're I think, all great. I personally believe 3 was better, but mm -hmm. we have not. Yeah. They even put out an SSX game like in the past, like I yeah. want to say a couple. People, people just don't care about snowboarding games anymore. Well, I don't think they care <laughs> as much about like the extreme sports games as no, they did in the heyday no. of the 2000s. Yeah, because people like esports more than sports. Right. But SSX, the SSX series was really good. Mm -hmm. Onimusha 2. This is a Capcom third person hack and slash, beautiful 3D environments. It is difficult. It feels a little Souls like. Like in all I honesty, remember, I, I remember watching you. I think it was the first one I had. Yeah, beating the final it. boss. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the second one, bigger, gorier, amazing, beautiful game. And it was kind of the beginning of your love of like the Devil May Cry kind of style, like. Yes. Kinds of things. So people who like Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, like those kinds of hack and slashes and Souls like games, you might be interested in Onimusha. Um, it has a cool counter system and block system like Souls like, but. Uh, I'm giving it to you. Are, you. are you sure? Yeah, take it. Because here's the deal. The first one got re-released. It, it didn't do so well getting re-released. Oh, really? I, yeah, no, I don't. too bad. But I probably would have put a second one out if, if it did yeah, really well. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right, I'm going to throw my crappy one out there. Oh, then I'm good. <laughs> you ready? Yep. One, and... two, three. I cheated on this, but. <laughs> uh, Just Cause is not a PS2 game, buddy. Yeah, it was. What? Yeah. It was an Xbox 360 game. No, Just Cause. Just Cause? PS2? Just Cause. Just Cause. Oh, it was on Xbox, Xbox 360, and PS2. Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. I did cheat a little. That's fine. Armored Core, any of them, but Nine Breaker. Okay, so yeah. make your case for Just Cause. Well, Just Cause, um, it, it would the, so a lot of people are familiar with Just Cause 2 and 3 and, and 4. There's a fourth one, right? There's yeah. a fourth one, yeah. 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 Um, and uh, the original one kind of more did um, just kind of like the nimble, typical like stunt driver kind of stuff. Um, so a lot of car driving, but then like the whole fun thing was to get on the roof of the cars and do like, you know, cl uh, you know climb buildings and that kind of thing. So not the crazy Spider-Man-esque stuff that you can do today, but at the time it was revolutionary because it still kind of had this awesome mechanic to create combat while you're like kind of moving, do all the action movie stuff that you'd love to do. Like I said, they've, they've perfected it in years past. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool for some people to go back and play the original. Okay. Okay. Destroy me. Hurt me. Okay. Break me down. Number one. Yeah. We need good mech games. Yeah, we do. We need good mech games. Armored Core has been quiet for a long time. Yeah. Some, of my some of my favorite PlayStation 2 memories are playing Armored Core games. I know. Games, so. Me too. Also, also, famous developer from software. I'm going to bring it up again because people love it. Souls games. Bloodborne. Sekiro. Elden Ring. They made Armored Core. And they this might was, be doing it again. They might be doing it again. The Armored Core games are... Basically, what Gran Turismo and Forza are to car guys for mech guys. There is so much fine tuning and customization here, it is ridiculous. I did an entire video about my top favorite mech games, I talked about one of them. But the ability to customize not just the outer appearance, but the generator, the radiator, the fire control system, and just the variety of pieces you could do were amazing. The stories were okay, but the variety was good. Thank you. All yours. All right, this is gonna be weird. It's gonna get weird from here on out because I, right. I picked weird ones. 
Three. Okay, give it two, to me. Three, two, one. <laughs> Santa Saga episode one versus Silent Hill two. You can't take them all. I'm not gonna let you take them all. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's Santa Saga episode three. Um, against Spider Man two. Yes! Uh, so Bully is one of the most like wanted to be like re-released games from Rockstar's history. I'll state my case. Mm -hmm. I want Zero Saga. I want Zero Saga on something else. Sorry, no personal feelings. I'm gonna make my case. Two of your loves. I know, of you. I know, I know. Yeah. And um, here is my case for Zero Saga episode three. Yeah. You actually don't need to, because Zeno <laughs> Saga Episode 3 included a, um, a an disc. encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't oh, a disc. No, 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 no. Did two have a disc with the cutscenes from one? Was that? If you pre-ordered two, you got the disc with one. I own that movie disc. Maybe because of the climate of the world and stuff, there's a little bit of hesitancy to kind of put a game like this out about a schoolyard kid who gets into all kinds of trouble, plays pranks, gets into fights, that kind of deal. But it was also an underdog story. It is. And um, I just because I, I really, really feel like this was an iconic game that got underlooked even at the time. Mm. Xenosaga was uh, the spiritual successor to Xenogears and the spiritual predecessor to the Xenoblade series. It was this uh, impressive space opera that was broken up into three pieces, uh, heavy philosophical and religious context going on, a beautiful soundtrack actually performed by the London Philharmonic Orchestra. Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, That's pretty cool. About seven <laughs> hours of cutscenes. And one of the first games I remember where they would ask you to save in the middle of a cutscene. <laughs> one of the most difficult PS2 games to get a hold of. It is incredibly expensive. Mm -hmm. It has never been re-released anywhere. Oh, and boy. because it was the third episode and very few people cared at that point, you cannot get a copy for, at the lowest, I think $150 right now. Mm. Spider-Man 2, I think, is the first really, really great um, you know, licensed game to do the open world thing actually well. Okay. So much that it influenced other open world games after the fact. It's super obvious. You play a game like Infamous on the next generation afterwards. Oh, oh absolutely. And it's so obvious that they like kind of stole what they were doing from, from Spider-Man 2, because it was it was it was a trendsetter. It's also the one that came up with all the tropes that became like the the movies and things like that. Right. So all the imagery and the characters that you expect, you know, enemy characters that you expect to see first showed up in Silent Hill 2. Um but I'll give it to you. Thanks. All yours. Thanks. That's, for, that's because I took your Zeno gears from you. Yeah. If the newest Spider-Man game hadn't been as good as it was, I would have given it to We're you. We're friends. We're friends. I'll let you have it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to freely admit, Zeno yeah. Saga Episode 2 is the worst of the three, by far. <laughs> so take it. It has a crap battle system, crap art style. I hate it. Okay. When we count them up, I'm sure... I'm sure... You know, I, you know it was close. It was close. It, Six to four. I, I was I was only, I was only one below. Yeah, you were, you were. So yeah, I mean, I mean, listen, mm -hmm. it wasn't split evenly, um, but mm -hmm. but nonetheless, like, there's a lot of games out there yeah. for the PS1, PS2 that deserve to be on there that have never been re-released. I mean, the Jack Collection, the Ratchet and Clank Collection, even Sly Cooper, they've all seen revivals. But where's Maximo? Where's that? Right, right. What about Tomba? Oh yeah, Tomba. Yeah, Klonoa. Clon uh, Klonoa is coming too. Uh, Klonoa is coming back out. Oh, is it? Oh, Klonoa. On the Switch, they announced that. Oh, we watched that. That's right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but nonetheless, <laughs> there's a lot of other great games out there. I mean, mm -hmm. Silent Hill Four. Yeah, oh, yeah, great yeah. game. Never been, never been re-released. Mm -hmm. Code Veronica. The Thing. The Thing. That's, an that's amazing. An, that's, an, that's, an, that's another. Game. That's another really great. That is uh, a good one. Licensed game that like we'll probably never get re-released. Battle Engine. Aquila! Red Faction 2. I should have put Red Faction 2 on my list. I'm shocked you didn't. Because it's oh, it's available everywhere still. Yeah, you can know. download it off anything. So you can even download it on your PS5, I think. So. It is it is yeah. so so good. It's so so good. So good. Shugi. Champions of Nora. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if it actually works. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, what PS1 or PS2 games would you like to see on the service? Like comment below and let us know. But that's our picks. I'm sure most people aren't necessarily super surprised. If you looked at our list and you're like, I don't know what any of these games are, look them up. They're they're all interesting games and they all were pretty definitive for what they were. I'm Jammer Lammy. We got Parappa the Rapper. We got Parappa the Rapper too. Yeah. Where's Um Jammer Lammy? Where's Guitaru Man? That's a weird one. Pep I want Pepsi Man to be released over in the United States Pepsi for the first Man. time ever. Pepsi Man. Jet Moto. Mm -hmm. I could just start listing games. Just start talking. Robotech <laughs> Battle Cry. <laughs> An Omega Boost. 
Oh, I should have put a mega boost. Zone of the Enders. But anyway, anyway, thank you all for joining us. Again, let us know in the comments below what you would like to see on the servers in terms of PS1 and PS2 games. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Check us out live on Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But for Nurse Thomas, I'm Dr. Pants, and we will catch you.